As well as the hints and the tips and the anecdotes and the, uh, yeah, we've got exercises as well from my career in TV and radio studios. And today we've got an exercise, which is how to determine whether you're an abdominal or clavicular breather. And you'll know from the past few days, abdominal good, clavicular not so good. Yeah, it's coming from your clavicle, coming from from, from 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 upstairs rather than down below, coming from your shoulders, and that's adding to tension and so on. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, you haven't heard the last couple of uh, podcast episodes, then nip back, download those, listen again, or listen for the first time, and then come back to to this episode. So, I've got an exercise for you today. And what I'd like you to do is sit up straight and put a hand on your on your abdomen, on your tummy. Yeah, on your belly, and the other in the centre of your chest. And then breathe in deeply, and hopefully you're finding the abdomen rising, pushing out, and then the chest expands, and then on the exhale, the abdomen falls, reduces, and then the chest falls. So you're creating little waves with your body as you breathe. And this leading from the abdomen helps create calm. Is another way of doing it. Lie with your back on the floor and repeat the exercise. And then you should notice that difference, yeah? That wave, your abdomen first and then your chest and then your abdomen and chest as you breathe out as well. To also try it with a book on your abdomen to see how that moves. That might be easier for you, perhaps a little bit more obvious, perhaps. Our ancestors would, in a frightening or overwhelming situation, they would... Well, let me paint a picture for you. You're hiding in the bushes. All right? You're about to attack that saber-tooth tiger but suddenly the saber-tooth tiger you've been following for several hours stalking and hunting suddenly turns round and you think he can see you in the bushes <gasps> you hold your breath in a frightening or overwhelming situation so you can listen for dangers and not be distracted by your own breath. That's why we were designed, like we're designed. And even though watching a, a, a gripping season finale on Netflix is a long way from coming face to face with the saber-toothed tiger, we still react in a similar way, holding our breath as we anticipate a pounce or a plot twist aids concentration. <laughs>